The stories you are about to hear are 100% true. My first experience with sleep paralysis was when I was 14 years old. I remember hearing the birds outside my window, so I estimated it to be around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Keep in mind this was in the summer, so it got bright outside fairly early. I was awake, yet my eyes wouldn't open. It was weird, sure, but I didn't really think anything of it, until I tried to move. I quickly realized I was experiencing sleep paralysis. There was no way for me to open my eyes or move my toes, my fingers, not even my mouth. At this point I was very afraid. I had never experienced anything like this before. I don't know when it happened, but at some point I was able to slightly move my fingers. I tried my hardest to sit up and open my eyes, but as I was sitting up it felt like there were hands grabbing my shoulders and pulling me back down. I was terrified. I obviously knew no one was pulling me down, but I couldn't open my eyes, so my head kept imagining monsters under my bed finally coming out of hiding to eat me. I tried my best not to fall backwards, and I was crying. I felt the tears run down my cheeks. I couldn't let whatever was pulling me down win. I had to resist. I had to fight. I had to wake up. And I did. I opened my eyes and immediately broke down crying. Was I safe? Or was I still experiencing sleep paralysis? My second experience with sleep paralysis came about a year later. Same place, same time. Only this time, the demon got straight to the point. I woke up not being able to open my eyes with what felt like hands covering my mouth and nose. I went into full panic. I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. At first I tried to resist. I tried everything I could to wake up, but nothing was working. So I decided to stop resisting. I just lay there, letting this thing choke me. I was ready to die. I had accepted my fate. And then it let go. I was free. I could move, I could breathe. And trust me, I breathed. Looking back at it, it's kind of silly, but in the moment I thought I would die for sure. My third and hopefully last experience with sleep paralysis was actually very recent. It was 2021 and I had just turned 17. I went to bed as usual, nothing seemed off. But then I woke up to the sound of my mother calling my name. And I immediately knew something was wrong. For context, when you entered my bedroom, my desk was to the right and a drawer to the left. Straight ahead was my bed, right underneath the window. The bed laid sideways and I slept with my head to the right of the window, so if someone was calling me, I'd hear them from the left, not the right. Again, I was not able to open my eyes, so I knew what to expect. Demons would probably choke me. Maybe some pulling or tugging on my limbs, but nothing I haven't experienced before. So I let my guard down. I heard my mother calling from the right, outside my window. I knew something was wrong, but I played along. My mother entered the room and stood next to the bed. She was talking to me, but I couldn't hear what she said. Then, out of nowhere, it felt like she was holding a pillow over my head while screaming profanities at me. I couldn't help her cry. Even though this wasn't my real mother, it still felt so real. It still felt like I had done something that made her ashamed of me. After what felt like an eternity, I remember the layout of my room, and I thought that if I try and call for my parents, they might be able to help me. I didn't care if the neighbors heard me, I didn't care if I was being loud, I just wanted everything to go back to normal. So I tried with all my strength to yell for my parents. What came out must have been small grunts as I wasn't able to speak, let alone scream. But it stopped just as abruptly as it had began. 